Jay growing a beard and presumably locking himself away in Dr. Julian's lighthouse after the loss of Nia is easily the biggest takeaway from the new Ninjago intro, but to be honest, I don't think enough people are talking about another insane, crazy, and just overall huge factor that could tie into all of this, which is exactly what we are going to be getting into in today's video. So, of course, Jay was seen in Dr. Julian's old lighthouse, the same thing that we saw in Season 2, if you guys remember initially, and then it did also make an appearance in season six with Jay and Nia using it. So yeah, we can all establish that. There were also a lot of points towards that actually being the case. This definitely wasn't just any random lighthouse. From the background and small details, we can definitely confirm that it was actually Dr. Julian's lighthouse that we've seen in the past. Well, here comes Mr. E. And as we know, Mr. E was kind of originally going to be Echo Zane, and he was going to be for a long while, but just before it made it into the actual finished product of Season 8, they cancelled it, and then Mr. E ended up basically not even having an identity, he was just a random robot, and Echo Zane was not technically Mr. E after all, because they completely cancelled that whole idea. So yeah, Mr. E doesn't really have an identity, and Echo Zane has literally no correlation to Mr. E in the slightest, other than the fact that he was originally going to be him, but then they dropped that last minute. Well, here, this is what I'm going to suggest. What if Echo Zane is still in the lighthouse, because of course we saw him in there in season 6, so what if he's still there, just, you know, doing whatever Echo Zane does, really, maybe he's still in the cellar, you know, just kind of being there, and maybe this could actually mean that Echo Zane will be making a new appearance within the next Ninjago installment. It's pretty crazy, right? Because Echo Zane was never really that big of a character. He was just kind of there in season six, and then that was it. Well, yeah, considering the fact that he wasn't actually Mr. E in the final season, it would only make sense that Echo Zane was still, you know, kind of just hanging around in the lighthouse. And with Jay being there, potentially Jay could actually end up meeting him, leading to a new appearance of Echo Zane. Well, could this even happen? Honestly, yes. I, Echo Zane doesn't really have to, you know, necessarily have a big role within the season, but just kind of a cameo for when Jay is actually in the lighthouse, which will presumably not really be for too long. I imagine we'll have another season four scenario where, you know, he kind of comes around fairly quickly and joins back to the ninja team. But Echo Zane, you know, that is kind of a great place to have him return. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, maybe he has turned evil and they would still carry on with that thing, because of course Echo Zane was meant to have turned evil when he was Mr. E, so maybe they could, you know, kind of still carry that storyline on, and while they definitely could explore something like that in the future, I don't really think it's going to be happening in this season, to be honest, it just seems like a concept that they aren't really going to explore just because of the fact that it's not really needed in the season, but it is definitely a really good theory, but yeah, I'm just going to say that perhaps uh, Echo Zane most likely will not be evil in the season at all, he'll still just be his usual self that we saw him as in season 6, but I think that overall Echo Zane returning is definitely a very plausible theory, and while it's not confirmed right now by any means or any stretch of the imagination it is definitely something to keep in mind when kind of thinking about this because echo zane you know he could definitely very easily be returning and making a small cameo within the next ninjago installment which i am just so down to see it would be awesome and a great callback to season six but with all of this being said what do you guys think about this should echo zane return briefly and make a cameo in the next season why or why not be sure to drop your thoughts down below in the comments but as usual if you did enjoy today's video please do feel free to drop a like on it Additionally, if you're new to the channel and are interested in seeing a lot of content very similar to this, then please also consider subscribing to the channel with that notification bell turned on. And with all of this being said, I will see you all in my next video coming out very, very soon. Goodbye.